Hi there, young math whizzes. Ready for a multiplication challenge? Jump into our Math Quiz for Kids channel for 20 exciting multiplication questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe to join in on the fun. Question 1. 6 times 4 equals what? So, the answer is, 6 times 4 is 24. To calculate, we have 6 groups, with 4 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 24 balls. Question 2. 8 times 7 equals what? So the answer is, 8 times 7 is 56. To calculate, we have 8 groups, with 7 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 56 balls. Question 3. 8 times 2 equals what? So the answer is, 8 times 2 is 16. To calculate, we have 8 groups, with 2 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 16 balls. Question 4. 4 times 9 equals what? So, the answer is, 4 times 9 is 36. To calculate, we have 4 groups with 9 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 36 balls. Question 5. 7 times 7 equals what? So, the answer is, 7 times 7 is 49. To calculate, we have 7 groups, with 7 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 49 balls. Question 6. 6 times 3 equals what? So, the answer is, 6 times 3 is 18. To calculate, we have 6 groups, with 3 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 18 balls. Question 7. 7 times 9 equals what? So, the answer is, 7 times 9 is 63. To calculate, we have 7 groups, with 9 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 63 balls. Question 8. 7 times 4 equals what? So, 
the answer is 7 times 4 is 28. To calculate, we have 7 groups with 4 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 28 balls. Question 9. 3 times 9 equals what? So, the answer is 3 times 9 is 27. To calculate, we have 3 groups with 9 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 27 balls. Question 10. 6 times 5 equals what? So, the answer is 6 times 5 is 30. To calculate, we have 6 groups with 5 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 30 balls. Question 11. 4 times 7 equals what? So, the answer is, 4 times 7 is 28. To calculate, we have 4 groups with 7 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 28 balls. Question 12. 3 times 8 equals what? So, the answer is 3 times 8 is 24. To calculate, we have 3 groups with 8 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 24 balls. Question 13. 7 times 7 equals what? So the answer is, 7 times 7 is 49. To calculate, we have 7 groups with 7 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 49 balls. Question 14. 7 times 2 equals what? So, the answer is 7 times 2 is 14. To calculate, we have 7 groups with 2 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 14 balls. Question 15. 4 times 2 equals what? So, the answer is 4 times 2 is 8. To calculate, we have 4 groups with 2 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 8 balls. Question 16. 
Six times seven equals what? So the answer is six times seven is 42. To calculate, we have six groups with seven balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 42 balls. Question 17. Two times six equals what? So, the answer is, two times six is 12. To calculate, we have two groups with six balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 12 balls. Question 18. Four times four equals what? So the answer is, four times four is 16. To calculate, we have four groups with four balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 16 balls. Question 19, four times two equals what? So the answer is, four times two is eight. To calculate, we have four groups with two balls each one. So how many balls do we have? Eight balls. Question 20, three times seven equals what? So, the answer is, three times seven is 21. To calculate, we have three groups with seven balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 21 balls. How many did you get right? We bet you did awesome. Remember, practice makes perfect. Don't forget to click the like button if you had fun and subscribe so you can join us for even more math quiz adventures. Let's keep the math magic alive.